I am now accepting applications for anyone who wants to be my friend or more. The criteria is as follows. One, must be living or good enough at hiding the death inside you to the point where you can still have friends or more. Just kidding, I'm down for undead species. Pretty much only vampires though, and only certain depictions of vampires that don't sparkle. And you'd be willing to turn me. I digress. Two, you imagine. You let your mind take you to the farthest star in the universe, bringing you to tears and the awe of everything laid out before you. On a disc track that seems to be grooving along with and without stutters in your step through that doorway into that upside down rave you dreamt of? Or some other random stuff that makes no sense, as long as you're not boring. Three, you're only gonna add to the confusion that is my life if you're gonna stay around to help me figure it out. I've been ditched by several friends in the past four partners because my confusing life has only confounded as time went on. My heart can't take any more tears. I need strings to tether my cat to grounded reality. That may sound like a lot, but it's as simple as caring and asking questions where you actually want to listen to their answers and the ones you need to ask so there can be questions you ask later. I also need fellow kites. Four, you're willing to be supportive of your fellow humans. Like, come on! There is no point in wasting so much time, energy, and resources battling your family, neighborhood, the people who don't look like you, or the entire fucking world! Surely there are people out there who want to build a stupendously harmonious world together, rather than watch it wither as a wilted flower burnt to a crisp by our selfishness. Four, five, you think aliens are real. I know it's not a certainty, but there is a probability that other sentient life is in the universe is like, oh wait, it is like 50-50, I guess. But I prefer a half full glass to an empty one any day, so I give the universe the benefit of the doubt. Don't let me down, uni! That's what I call the universe, because we're tight. Tighter than my atoms are. You know, we are all the universe, or some other sappy philosophical science-y trope. Bring me more aliens! Six. You are a nerd of some kind, or part of a fandom like my lovely Hoovy and self, or have a passion that isn't harmful to others with, with their, ah, without their consent, like my kinky self. One of the last things I need in my life is disinterested people. The people who think they are too cool for school. I've always considered us nerds to be the cool kids. No matter what anyone tells you, you're ice cold and winter is coming. So you're probably way better prepared than those aloof weirdos who never wear practical clothing. Seven. You're good with time. I've always struggled keeping a firm grip on the hands of a clock. Maybe it's all that time warping I'm doing with that crazy time warp, but I'm not supposed to talk about that. Eight. You realize that I'm just being silly at this point, rambling on about the traits of friends I already have and the friends I will make. You might be one of them. Uh, but all you have to do is sign your name here. And then I'll own your soul! Ha <laughs> ha! I kid, I kid, I kid. What's the point of being childish if you can't grow up so- uh, fuck, I reversed that. What's the point of growing up if you can't be childish sometimes? So this is my bat signal, calling out to the weirdos, oddballs, and freaks of the night. We have a planet to save and lives to savor. The question now isn't if I will be your friend. We're well past that now. I already claimed you as my friend like 13 lines ago. The question is, when are we gonna hang out? Thank you. Oh, and and thank you. So, uh, 